started. Oh, let's get it started. Okay. Wow, the Black Eyed Peas is how <laughs> we started. What a, oh, yeah, what a, what a way to start. Um, okay, so yeah, we're going because Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is this week. I am I know, can you my tickets. It? Let's go. I am seeing it Thursday. I'm so excited. So I'm seeing it Thursday as well. Since we are, um, since it's since it's this week, I figured let's do a review of the first Doctor Strange movie. And boy, am I glad we did this. Um, yeah, it 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 it, it re enlightened a lot of light bulbs in my head. I Me too. I had forgotten so many things. So many yeah. things. Oh yeah. Okay. Lots of stuff. Okay, so the Doctor Strange, first Doctor Strange movie came out in November of 2016. It was the 14th movie in the MCU at the Only time. The Only the 14th. It came and right after what? Good. It came well, right I was after. Say, where 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 was Doctor okay, Strange so, mentioned before that? Okay, so so okay, so the eleventh was um, Avengers Age of Ultron. The 12th was Ant Man in 2015. The 13th was Captain America Civil War in earlier of 2016. And then in November 2016 was Doctor Strange. So it came right after Captain America Civil War. I did not realize in, that. Yeah. In Captain, in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, his name is dropped. Uh, well, it's also, it's dropped some. Oh, no. Maybe that is when they're up in the, they're up getting ready to shoot. Down. They're, up on, they're up on the roof getting ready to drop Sitwell and then Fal- they drop him and Falcon catches him. They he he drops like he's like Dr. Banner, Dr. Strange. Like he just like starts dropping names. So um there, there's someone I think Hydra said in, in one of the uh I think it was in that's Civil Sitwell. War. It's no, the, no, that's Sitwell, that's Sitwell too. in in Captain America the Winter Soldier. It okay, he, they mentioned that, that they he's were Hydra. Tabs on. Yeah, okay. He's Hydra, and he's like, oh, they're targeting people that will threaten them. He like he drops Doctor Banner and Tony Stark. Oh, okay, and okay. Doctor yeah, yeah, Strange yeah. and like, okay. like he just like starts dropping names. So here is my thoughts on Doctor Strange in 2016. I remember after seeing the movie, I was so not impressed. I called it, I called it Iron Man with magic. I, I, I why is that a bad thing i know right <laughs> because they basically just copied and pasted you know it's like oh you have arrogant jerk that becomes a hero that learns things and becomes a hero and you basically it was just iron man with magic it's like you you. all just right so they this. took that thing that you liked and then put a new spin on it and then gave you it again and you didn't like it because i already saw it you already liked it too, so. But I already saw it. That's, I, I'm, I not, did not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not jumping on your bandwagon. I, where I say not, it's the same thing because I think it's different. I'm just telling but, you, I did not like it back then. Okay, I'm and saying now, it's different, but seeing yeah. it again, seeing it now, a week before, you know, the the the, the second movie is going to come out. I love it, and it makes a lot of sense, and it it really adds to what we saw in future um mcu movies especially yes. uh infinity war and endgame yes so much bearing on the future movies which it, perfect that we went back and watched it, it makes so much sense it, it it yes this is this was uh this this turned out a lot better this, this is this is exactly what i was hoping but but turned out a lot even even better than that so okay Oh, um, a, a couple things before um, we start. So uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, of course, is Doctor Strange. Um, at first, he turned down the role because he was in um, he was doing a theater. He was uh, doing Hamlet. Do you uh, want to know which, who else they considered? I, I was just going to bring that up, but who, who did they also? They yeah, considered? there's a bunch of people. <laughs> Johnny Depp and Joaquin Phoenix was offered the role. But Joaquin, declined it. Wa- Joaquin Phoenix as Doctor Strange. It. I could see it. No, I can't. See, really? I just can't see anybody else other than 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 Benedict. Nah, I, I could, know, I could definitely see it. Perfectly made for the goatee role. on him. Like I could see it. Here's who else they considered: Colin Ooh. Farrell, Jake Gyllenhaal. That would have been yeah. interesting. Tom yeah. Hardy 
Ethan Hawke. Oh, um, Jack, Tom Hardy. I could have, I could have, I could have gotten behind. Jack oh. Huston. I don't even know who that is. Oscar Isaac. Moon Knight <laughs> could have been it. That would have been interesting. That um, would have been fun. Jared Leto. Ooh. Oh, I did hear the Jared Leto one. No, boom. Um, Jared Leto for no more superhero roles. Matthew, Trust me, don't see Morbius, guys. Trust Matthew, me, do not see it. Oh, yeah, that was the worst movie Oh, it was ever. terrible. Uh, it was freaking um, terrible. Matthew McConaughey. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That would be terrible. Right. <laughs> yes. That would have been terrible. How about this? Ewan McGregor. Obi Wan Kenobi is Doctor Strange. I could have. I know. Cool would that no, 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 no. I get that one some credit. I could see it. I could, I could see. see I would. One. I would like Ewan McGregor as. as I could. Whoa. I could see that one. No. Get this. I could see it. I, I could picture it in my mind's eye. Keanu Reeves as Doctor nah. Strange. I could see that. Now I could see that. John nah, Wick. He'd be like. He, he'd be too much like. Whoa. 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 Every time. Everything he would do. Like, every time something magic happened, he'd be like, "Whoa!" It would take years to shoot the movie because every I time, know, like, exactly, whoa. like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah. um, Justin <laughs> Thoreau, John Hamm, that would have been interesting. Uh, oh my Ooh. god, Johnny I Depp. Actually, no, I would, I wouldn't have minded his take on that. I would have. That would have been interesting. How he um, played it, and um, and Justin Joseph Gordon Levitt, that would have been interesting. Also. That's another um, one. Yeah, I could, I, I could get behind that one. Um. Uh, apparently Rachel McAdams did not want to do any uh, MCU movies, but then because they were so popular, she changed her mind. Um, Good for she, her. She, uh, um, unknowingly, she was the first choice for the role of Christine, but she was also approached to be Pepper Potts in Iron I, Man. I read oh, that. I could see that. I mean, I could, they, they I could cast see. red hairs like, like they cast, I don't know. Any other yeah, that person. that would have... I, I don't know where I was going with that metaphor. <laughs> yeah, All I right, I, so yeah. so let's start with the movie. Well, no, go, um, Pam, hang on, hang on, Pam. Would you? What would you want to say? Oh no, no, I'm, I'm I, oh, I, I can see that. That's all. Sorry. I can't see any of those people as Doctor Strange. Maybe just see, Benny. Maybe, I, maybe I agree. Home. Cumberbatch yeah, just per, is is perfect. perfectly. It's like you can't see anybody else. As he's Iron got, Man, he's got the swarm to him that Tony Stark doesn't have. Tony Stark comes off with charisma, like RDJ, like RDJ just get, comes off like he's like, yeah, I'm a playboy, da da. I got like I'm pleasing everybody. Like Ben Knight Cumberbatch comes off with this like I'm better than you, so right? Well. Kind Which of swarm. Perfect for perfect and for Doctor I'm just Strange. Like, I'm just like like especially for like I know that, like for non Marvel people who are walking in this movie, they're like I hate this guy. Like this guy's yeah. a, this guy's terrible. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to think right now because that. he is terrible. I forgot but how bad he, just, he was. Well, yeah, but he just Awful. he just like he he does that so much better than anybody that I can like consciously think of in my mind. Where he just is like, I'm better than you, and I know it, and I'm gonna flaunt it, and I'm like, eh. Like you're a toxic person. Like he he's a very toxic person in the in the first like 15, 20 minutes of this movie. Yeah. And so yeah. But so, he does it so well. Like good for him. He does. Yeah. So we start in um what now, now I'm drawing a blank word. The 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 we start the, in the hospital. No, we like start Aubrey. in no, we start in um whatever what the heck is it what is it called? Oh now? no, oh, we start in the middle of Manhattan thing, yeah. with the big Come, with Comartage. The big CGI fight. We no, start, we start with the big CGI, CGI fight. Oh yeah, right, Comartage, where was, they was, ship the guy. Caecilius yeah. steals pages from the book of Cagliostro and they go into the streets and then some weird person fights them. Who yeah. is the with the, the hood one. and the big wavy disc things? Right, right. So she defeats them and reveals it's like, oh, it's not some dude, it's a bald lady. Oh, um, uh, the... quick, quick question on that one because it's the bald lady that we all have to talk about for the rest of the movie. Did anybody have a problem with Tilda Swinton being cast in this role? No, oh, I thought she was great. Um, so apparently in the comics, the ancient one is a, an Asian guy. He's an old Asian dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I no. think that stereotype right right. Well, I think that's a there's a reason they they made it a woman uh, is because. But you know, they're of, they're, of, of, of stereotypes. And she's perfect. You're 100 percent correct, Joe. I thought she was great. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't disagree. There is a legion of Marvel purists that say, well, you should stick to the comics and you should have exactly. cast an old Asian man. And I'm like, they, yeah, they, well, there's a, re- like like that, there's a reason that, they, that we recast that because that was a little like on the nose stereotypical. Wise. It's like, but, it's like why they did the Mandarin. <laughs> they redid the Mandarin. Yes. Um, so yeah, there's just some things that. Um, yeah. So yeah, I didn't have a problem with Tilda Swinton. I thought she killed it in this role. I actually think she kills it in Endgame too, when she's just like, oh, Dr. Strange is down the street doing. Yeah doing surgery and like like she comes he's, back and does her role so good he's he's five years away from seeing me i mean she she knew exactly. all this. but that <laughs> but that's the reason i really like tilda swinton in this role is because she's not what you would expect like they're just like oh the ancient one and like they're in this eastern european country and it's this like african-american man leading him to it and you're like oh it's gonna be this like traditional ethnic priest and it's just like this bald white woman and she's like oh here have some tea like you're good. Yeah. So, yeah. so what he was, what we learn is he's pulling pages from the book of Cagliostro, which is an ancient book of spells that focuses on the dark side of mysticism and causes many students to lose their way. It was uh, well, stuck, and it specifically taps into the dark dimension. The dark dimension, draw energy from the dark dimension. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that'll come up later um so now we cut to the scene of dr strange doing surgery and basically this He's is what guessing we like song lyrics in his head yeah i mean what a scene that's an intense scene i forgot how intense that scene is like who hasn't well if you've ever been on an operating table like what they couldn't pick they could not have picked a better way to show what a jerk he was supposed to be. Yeah. I arrogant jerk. All right. See, yeah. I take that a different way. Really? See, all right. So, so I, being a person has only been on an operating table once in my life. So, I know that in like in certain situations, songs, beats, different things can put a certain like savant into like a rhythm. And they're just like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. And they just like do the thing and they don't even think about it. Hey, yeah. whatever, <laughs> whatever they need to do to do their thing, go, go ahead. Yeah, and nobody that's watching kind of, that movie is thinking that. No one. They're all thinking he's a jerk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, that's, I, that's, I, well, I think the way he talks, the way he talks to the guy who's like picking the music. I think that I do agree with you, Pam. I think that's the way he's supposed to. I, come and that's off, just is I think, that he's just like an a hole. It's like I know better than you. That, that, like that scene is, hey, I'm an arrogant jerk. Look at look at him, Aaron. I arrogant did. Jerk, I, I do think, I do think the scene that follows, and Joe, you can set us up for this. Uh, um, okay, so the where they run scene, down the hallway, like they they run down the hall. Okay, I'm missing that part. What what, what happened? So he comes out of the operating room, and then. Um, Rachel McAdams' character, whose name is going to escape me this this entire movie, comes to him and is like, oh, I got this, da-da-da, whatever the case is. And he looks at it, looks at it, looks at it, and he's like, oh, he's brain dead, da-da-da. And then he, like, looks at the x-rays the right way. He's like, oh, we got to run. And then they dart down the hallway, and they're about to put the one guy into, um, like, he's about to be used as as an organ donor. But then Doctor Strange goes into the operating room and like yanks the bullet out of his brain. Oh, okay, basically. So like that's supposed to make him seem like a sympathetic character. So he's I arrogant. About that. I he, think it shows that he's just really good at what he does. He's I a, he's I an think expert I think that makes him seem sympathetic because he's willing. Because they talk about in that scene, Rachel's like, oh well, you could be here saving lives. And he gets on his high horse and he's like, well, I'm pioneering medical science that could save thousands of lives and da, 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 da. And like, he gets on his high horse, but he's not, he's not totally above just saving the life of a bullet, uh, of a gunshot victim. So 
I think that's supposed to humanize him a little but bit. But he did it because it was hard and it was impossible. And he's like, oh, no, I I'm so good that I could, I could fix it. No, no, no. So in a later, in the, in the next scene where he's driving, he turns down a case because it's, because there's no rate of success. He talks about, oh, I only take like cases where I can save lives. And that's that the way you took that scene, really. That's that's interesting to me. <laughs> what? Um, wait, uh, so sorry, Pam. Which, which, it, it, sorry, which, which scene? I was talking about two scenes, but which scene? You took them both so differently. I took the bullet the way the bullet scene the way you did, Joey. Like arrogant jerk has to show off how good he is, has to show up the other no. doctor, has to make a point, and then he wasn't care about saving lives. He went out there when they went and told the mother or whoever that was supposed to be, and he was like, "Yeah, don't hug me." But then he goes out there and he's going through the cases. I think that's I think that's claustrophobic. I I think that's like he's like germaphobic. Like I just, I just I don't take that that way. Isn't that funny? All right, and, and it's funny that that we yeah we 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 see things differently. But um, well, uh, well yeah okay go ahead. That's fine. Um, go ahead. Yeah. So so he's getting dressed up to go somewhere, and he's Those in a spinning car. watches. Spinning what time? Are, like, hmm. Time, time stone. Yeah. Um, one of those watches pointed to February second, two thousand sixteen. You know what date that is? Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Oh, you know, oh, the movie where no, you relive the same thing over and over again. No, hmm. it wasn't. That's cool. Foreshadowing. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's a, that was an Easter egg. That's, that's cool. amazing. I missed that. Oh, that's amazing. So, so um, he's in the car and he's talking to someone, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, we have this case." And um, it was, I think, I think one of them was like an old lady. He's like, "I'm, I'm not worried about an old yeah. lady." She you guys caught the Iron there. Man reference, right? Uh, what with with uh, Rhodey? with the with the suit that spun the guy. Oh, they no, talk. No. They talk about they talk about an armored suit that like snapped a like. Corporal yeah, spine or whatever. Right. That's he's like, the, that that's the scene from Iron Man 2 where he like pulls up the he pulls up the suits that they're trying I, out I, and it like spins the one guy and he like screams. Okay. Okay. Um, there was also another one where it's like, oh, there's a woman with telepathic powers and blah blah blah. And he's like, Oh, that might be interesting. Uh, but then he gets into a crash. Basically, his car flips over, he's in really bad shape. And he ends up in the hospital where his hands and arms are super messed up. They are in. Yeah, he like shattered well, because they all yes. went into the dashboard and they Ugh. all got like cut up and shattered and like all that crap. Ugh. Um, just just a real quick aside. Remember in that stupid what if thing, which actually I think is going to have a big bearing in the next movie. But that what yeah. if like th there was that one um, episode where he kept. Um, reliving that scene with Christine and he kept trying to avoid it. But in, in, in that scene, it was he and Christine that were in that car that got into a yeah. crash and she died. And they made yeah. the, like a big deal that, that, that he tried to like, he did anything to save her. But in the doctor, in this movie, it was just him alone in the car. So I don't know what the heck that was about, but yeah, I, I was trying to remember where I saw. That's where it was. It was. I was like, "Wait, well, it wasn't Christine with him?" But that's why I'm. Well, because that out. that's what they they titled that "What If" episode. What if Doctor Strange lost his hands, but not his or lost his heart, but not his hands? And okay. uh, so okay. it was. It was all about him losing like the part of him that kept him human, and not about like the part of him that kept him like a doctor. So, so but he, he just this, he lost himself in the magic to try to bring her back. Okay. But in then, the hand yeah. when he lost his hands, he was just trying to bring back his hands. Like he Hilarity. was selfish in that in that sense. Hilarity ensues. So yeah, he, so now oh. he's trying to rehab and it's really hard and he's not getting anywhere. And he's working with the rehab person and he, and he says, Have you ever, ever seen anybody recover from this? He's like, Yeah, one guy. He was he was um, he had a severed spine and now he's walking just fine and it's like oh he tried the, these new methods um, and and Doctor Strange is like what 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 are, what are these methods oh yeah and he goes to a basketball court yeah yeah. Okay. yeah so I have a question about Benjamin Bratt's character in this why is that who the basketball player the is? basketball yes. dude is who recovered okay cool so cool. why is Benjamin Bratt not involved in like how did he just get to go and get healed and go home and live a normal life? Because, because he didn't, he didn't become a warrior. 
he he went to Comertage, he learned his magic, he accepted what he needed to to heal himself, and then and that's he it. said, Okay, peace out, I'm done, and then just left. He oh, had like, not job. everyone that goes to Comertage has to be a warrior. I just I At don't this is my understanding. Okay. So. I just didn't see recall like I was I don't recall seeing Doctor Strange being given that same choice. Is they he? give him they, Doctor no, Strange. They never tell him he has to stay. Well, Doctor Strange kind of takes another path because A, he's so good, and B, while he's learning, um, Kaecilius and all this stuff goes down. So, um, but but with but with Benjamin Bratt's character, it was basically, I want to walk, and he's using he's using magic to walk. He's basically yes. like like the only reason he's able to walk is because he's using magic to to manipulate and that is the only you know it's like okay i'm here for one thing how his spine is together and like all that good stuff but he was never he never signed up to be like a warrior for camaraderie like they they don't make that's fine i I just wonder yeah yeah one job and that's it he's like okay thanks bye see he's like peace out i'm done peace out yeah i'm not a crook i i i have my receipts here you go thank you goodbye (laughs) You know, he filled out he filled out the yelp review and the, and this you know they, they gave him a survey at the end they said yeah. what did you think of your experience oh, at okay. it's like oh, here's five, five, five stars on uber eats five stars no. <laughs> i'm out of five would highly it. recommend yeah <laughs> um, all right so, so yeah he gets, so, so he, he gets he goes, to comertage um yeah, 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 yeah. He, he learns about Comertage. He goes to Tibet. He's asking everyone, it's like, where's Comertage? Where's Comertage? And some dude in a hood is 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 looking at him. And then he goes into an alley and thugs approach him and they're like, Give me the watch. He's like, please, no, not the watch. And then he he Which I he did find interesting. Him. Well, because that was like the only like it, it was a pretty pretty expensive looking watch. So I mean, it was a nice watch. It was a nice watch. So I was like, okay, that's good. I mean, and he didn't look like he had any other like you know anything worth worth anything else worth taking. So, um, so he fights them. They beat him up, but then the dude in the hood fights all the thugs. He takes off the hoods, and it's Mordo with the wand of Watum. Played by, unfortunately, I don't, I forget his name. Just, just butcher his name because trust me, I've tried to pronounce it multiple times. Um, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so more, yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, so Strange says, Oh, what, what is this it? But he takes him to, to Comartage, is like, and, and Mordo says, Forget everything you think you know. And, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, and Strange sees the Ancient One, and the Ancient One says uh, he basically was expecting him. Um, he basically, you know, basically knew all about him. Mm. Okay. Um, and she, she says, you, you're, oh yeah, she says, you're not a doctor anymore. He knows, she knows about his, his procedures and stuff. Um, he asks how, uh, I, I guess he asks about um, the Benjamin Pratt character, and she said, he fixes back. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she says, your own body can make your body heal. Um, and then he basically goes into his uh, uh, ego, egomaniac jerk thing. He's like, oh, you're you're full of crap. Uh, you know, you, you you don't know what you're talking about. And he punches, and he just her. punches him out. He punches her. He, she punches him <laughs> into an ast- into the astral plane. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. She says she's showing him how much he doesn't know. And then he goes on this trippy trip above the earth. Oh my God. He's touching a butterfly. He's going through all the I going through the wormholes from contact. It was. It was it was there. Yeah, there were there were wormholes from contact, which I have I have heard from outside sources that marijuana and hallucinogens while watching that scene freak you out very much I'll bet. oh my gosh that would be a really bad idea yeah that would um, that would be just like insane to me but i have i love i, I, I love, do have my contacts i love so. the line <laughs> i love the line in uh i believe it was a south park episode they're like two hours to find out that the aliens were bleep bleeping father 
Oh yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. I was not a I was not a fan of the movie Contact, but yeah, I no. love the movie. Contact. Really? Yeah, really? I love it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the movie. Should I watch? I it like. Then? Well, yeah. I just I just ruined it for you. So, so there you go. Um, I do like that that <laughs> like the spaceship blows up and they're like, oh, don't worry, we built another one. <laughs> All right, we're on a different movie. Let's go. <laughs> a different movie. Um, so um, she okay, so um, she says she basically while he's doing the trippy trippy thing, she says this universe is only a, a one of a number of infinite number of universes. Hmm. Multiverse, multiverse. Uh, some are good, some are bad, some are blah blah blah. Who are um, you in this multiverse, Mister Strange? Yeah, that that's a great line. You, you did that. That was that was well. a good Tilda Swinton. Yeah, too. You're, you're, good, bravo. <laughs> If they need to recast the the the, the ancient one, they could get. Here we go. The ancient Pretty one. Good. Let's get Pam in there. Come on. <laughs> Not an old joke. Go back and um, donuts crowd. Let's get it going <laughs> right now. Um. So she kicks him out of Comartage, and he's like begging to come back in. And she's I talking do. To him. I do appreciate the because that's that's such a throwback to like so many different movies of just the banging on the door. Let me in, let me in. Like, I just like, I like the fact that they eventually just let him in and they're like, here's a bunch of books. Here's your place to sleep. And the kicker to all of that is they hand him the piece of paper and he opens it up and he's like, what is this? He's like, it's the Wi Fi password. That I love that. We're not savages. (laughs) We're not savages. And that part, my wife Um, to this day, cracks up at yeah, that that's, line that, that's a good that's line, a good line. Um, Just she, them, you know. she tells Mordo I love this line we never lose our demons we only learn to live above them that's that deep. is that's that, a great line. Yeah, that yeah. that hit me. That hit me really like I hold I still I still say that line to myself because so um so he basically you know she she says um um, the ancient one says that we we harness energy from other places in the multiverse to make the magic. Um, he says, "Well, I can't do that." She's like, "Well, how did you become a surgeon?" It's like years of practice, and it basically shows him, you know, doing training. He meets uh, Wong, Wong, who is the defender of the books, and he's the librarian. Um, yeah, he's the librarian. Time. Talks about Adele, the, uh, the Aristotle, Drake, Bono, Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> that was one so name. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I do, I do love the scene where he just randomly steals books from him while he's listening to Beyonce. Like that, that scene. Yeah, like that, that was that. He, was, he never, like, he never heard of Beyonce, and then he's like, "Oh, okay." And then now he's no. To I, so that scene, I think, is is meant to say that they like they definitely know about pop culture, but they're just like they're trying to put on like the um like mentality and like because. Uh, like I think I've thrown out in previous podcasts where Wong orders a tuna melt a, yeah. in a, in Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> it's nice. Like how does Wong know what a tuna melt is if he's just been living in a monastery the entire right. time? Like <laughs> Wong just like Wong Wong's just does great. his thing and he pretends to be the guy he is. So. Yeah. Um, so Strange can't do the um, you know traveling with the ring thing and he says well oh, I can't do the ring and he says yeah. I can't do it because of my hands my hands and she's like yo that dude it doesn't even have hands and he's doing it so <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah I forgot they brought that dude yeah, up that was cool that dude doesn't even have hands bro that's 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 my that's my uh Tilda Swift. And that was the that was the guy that was sitting at the tea house when he walked in. Okay. Who okay. he thought was who he thought was the sorcerer supreme, which I find like ironically funny. And uh so he shaves his beard into the the Doctor Strange goatee. Um he tells Wong he wants to do astral projection and he says this is where this is where he says uh Wong says you're not ready for that and and strange says try me beyonce and he's like who's who's beyonce but um yeah um she takes him to the mirror dimension which i still don't know what the heck that is this is one thing i don't understand is when they are doing things like manipulating buildings and stuff like that like are the buildings actually being manipulated or what is that just no illusions or what so so the physics from what i'm to understand within this movie is what you're manipulating is a mirror representation of the actual physical world. So you can manipulate it however you want, but everything outside of it is unaffected. 
the 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 thing that I the thing that I draw issue with is the way they change it in Spider-Man: Homecoming, where he's just like randomly bringing trains and like the Grand Canyon into it. And like those aren't in New York. Like that's that's yeah. really weird. Wow. Well, so yeah. like I don't know what the Mirror Dimension is supposed to be. Like yeah. honestly, at this point, I don't. Inception. So, that's in, what it is. <laughs> it's 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 what? Inception. Yeah, it's it's basically Inception. It's movie stuff. Inception. <laughs> it's all Inception stuff. Uh, everything turns in on everything and builds off everything. We're good. Cool. Um, you're, you're right, though, Joey. They don't really explain it enough. It's like, okay, this exists. This is where the bad guys go. This is where yeah. there's some kind of. It doesn't. It's yeah. not well explained, and it's not necessary. Well, but um, the other thing in Spider Man, Spider Man No Way Home, is Peter Parker like Spider Man like beats him because he does geometry better like why is yeah. that a thing in the mirror dimension like why can i just stick you to things because i know how triangles work better like that's yeah. that's a weird concept so i hated i hated the subject of trigonometry so you know if i battled dr strange in a mirror dimension he would have defeated me because i hated trigonometry so I, I, I would have i would have probably just thrown acid at this face and been done but there, you I mean, go. there you I, I, go i'm the green goblin in this case so um <laughs> so um they they um he, he's he's training with mordo and mordo's like well you better you better learn to fight because <laughs> your life might depend on it and he shows that there's like a whole bunch of relics and this, this whatever the staff of the living tribunal is and and okay. the leaping boots of something or other yeah, that lets yeah. you jump like way higher, something. Yeah. Um, and somehow Strange gets to the eye of Agamotto. I don't remember. They don't protect it. It's just like sitting there. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Which, uh, that's by weird. the way, holds the time stone. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get that at all because we know how important the Infinity Stones right at that point like we've heard how yeah. important they are i don't yeah. understand how strange just walks up and is just like having a book eating an apple and he's just like yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take this i'm just gonna take this thing that's like an ancient relic and i'm gonna do things but yeah. like yeah it is weird it's yeah. super um, weird um so he's doing some ritual and uh and it's he's he's i guess he's talking about the dark dimension and eternal life or something like that and wong and mordo are like what are you doing uh no, and, no, 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 no. he's he's in the same book that caecilius ripped the pages out of so because he turns back time to re-establish those pages to figure out what caecilius did oh oh he uses so, the, the, the time to use the eye of agamotto to, to turn that he yeah uses the time stone now, so the thing I'm confused about is, does he need spells to control the time stone, or can you just use the time stone? Like, that's I think the... you need spells. Well, because yeah. Thanos doesn't spells. need spells. Thanos yeah, just like turns together. back clocks and like rips the mind stone out of Vision's head. Mm, good point. I don't know. Yeah, so maybe. It, yeah, I, maybe it depends on how powerful you are. I don't know. It's, it's weird. All right, sorry, I'm 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 nerding out too much. Let's go. Um, so so Mordo says what you what you're doing can talk can cause temporal manipulations and create branches in time, unstable dimension openings, and time loops. Hmm. What, what was does that, that in sound like? Yeah. What does that sound like? Hey, there's Has no Loki been introduced yet. There is no <laughs> way that Loki is not in this next movie. There oh, he is no way. It. He better. I would, be. I would. I if I was a betting man and I am not, I would put money on that. Hey, he is, I think he is everyone is going to be madness. in this movie. He's in yeah. Multiverse of Madness. Yes, he has everyone. To be. He has to be. Tom Cruise as Iron Man is in this movie. For God's sake. no, he's not. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we, we're not talking. But about that. we okay. might get our new Wolverine. I we have don't, heard. We don't. We don't talk about Bruno. Um, <laughs> we, don't don't talk, talk we don't talk. We don't talk about Cruzo. Um, um, so, so they're like, how do you they're like, <laughs> they're basically complimenting him. It's like, well, you're really good at this. How do you do this? It's like, uh, well, I have a photographic memory, you know, that's why I'm like, like how do you even know the spell? Yeah. yeah. I like um, that. That's a human thing though. It's not like he's, that's just him. That's his human personality. I like yeah, that. I think that's yeah, cool. Um, they're like, you're uh, a And yeah, Pam, that's, that's a really good point that they, they bring like a really human element to this majestical magical powerful stuff yeah. and it's just like yeah he's just really good at what he does like 
That's, That's a really course. solid point. That's, like they, I, I never thought about character. it that way. They said that yeah. you were you were born for the mystical arts and and strange is like, well, yeah, when are you going to show yeah, me what what we are? Yeah. Um, and Wong says that uh, we sorcerers safeguard against mystical threats. The ancient one is the latest long and long latest in a long line of sorcerer supreme. Um, the the father of the mystic arts is Agamotto, and he built three sanctums, one in Hong Kong, one in New York, and one in London. And they generate a protective shield around the world to protect against Damarmu, who dwells in the dark dimension. He is a cosmic conqueror. Well, to what? protect against mystical threats is what he says. Not necessarily, it, like, it's not excluding Dormammu, but it is not just, just Dormammu. Okay, well, they so, talk about Dormammu. He, d- he dwells in the dark dimension. He is the cosmic conqueror, destroyer of worlds, um, a being of infinite power and endless hunger to, and he wants, and he wants Earth most of all. Of course, yes. Earth is like the most, po- this is the most popular. So popular. It is the it's pale so- blue gem. Yeah. Um, so, so, okay. So this is where, and then Cassilius attacks, um, I believe in New York. Yes. And then, oh, and then okay. Strain, Wong and Strain, or Strange tries to go there. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, I mean, just Strange is just not ready for fighting right now, but somehow, and, and, and he gets help from the magic cape. Which I love that. Like, the, magic I cape do, is awesome. I, the cape is fantastic. I want Thank one. You. <laughs> I want a magic cape. I totally I know, want a magic cape. I know. I was looking for cape. That cape is like, fantastic. It is. It is. <laughs> um, he puts him in this weird. Um, 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 I'll, 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 I'll keep it. I'll keep it. PG for the kids. Just a, a restraint of some time. Um, it's actually. Oh, called, you're talking about this guy, Silius? Yeah. Um, the, the oh, crimson yeah. the crimson bands of Sidorak, I believe, is is what they are. Um, no, and, and basically, the, he has the them. crimson bands of Sidorak are what he summons when he does little band things with his arm with with his hands, like when he summons the thing and like throws them at people. That's the crimson bands of Sidorak. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure. Um, um so the one of his disciples attacks strange but the but the but the cape attacks the guy and strange ends up in a hospital in new york um this and was a great scene this is a great scene this is uh, and I, have, I have some backstory about this so okay, go ahead so christine is it about a broom no uh okay so, anyway. <laughs> so side note all right so let me just tell my quick backstory so the director of this um when when he was being touted for this movie like when he was being recruited for this movie he wanted this movie like he wanted to do this movie specifically and so he hired a a camera guy a digital like film person like a guy to do all the after work and he basically created this scene where they fight in their astral form in the hospital he created this scene and marvel was just like Yep, we're buying that, and you're directing this. There you go, because and that was that actually how he got hired. Was that a scene out of the comics? Uh, I, well, I mean, he's he's fought in astral form like a, the, like the a billion scene, times. Okay, so so in this scene, he is because he got you know he 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 got wounded in the heart or something like that. So his body is there. He goes out of it, his astral body, and he's helping Christine. He's helping the the, the doctors. Uh, save I do him. love. That. <laughs> which 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 is which is uh something out of the no comments. you dumbass <laughs> sorry um, sorry so um okay so the what what kills the disciple guy is when christine d- does the uh the the the, the, the pad the pow and it, and it, it um, yeah it kills him. um now there is okay so um basically she so she fixes them up um he he tells her it's like she's like well where where have you been and he, he tells her um she doesn't believe him um so he leaves through the the, the, the portal he makes oh he makes yeah the, the, thing. S- the sling ring and thing. so yeah. she's alone in this like like you know closet and a broom falls and she's like ah that was not scripted she that, actually did freak out oh, that's funny. that made my wife jump and they, they they kept that in the movie. Very, oh, very that's fun. I love stuff like that. Uh, that made my wife jump, and I I cackled 
every um, time. <laughs> now, one important thing is that uh, I guess while Strange was talking to Cassilius, he said that the Sorcerer Supreme draws power from the dark dimension to stay alive. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so he's uh, Mordo is mad at him. Uh, Mordo is like, no, that, that, there's, that, that can't be true. Um, and then they, they do they do fighting in the mirror dimension and do inception stuff. They do that uh, weird like platform fight where they're like Dragon Ball Z. And yeah. and the, the Sorcerer Supreme comes and fights Caecilius. Yeah. And that's where Mordo fi- finds out, oh, he's right. She does draw power okay. from the dark dimension. So I have a problem. That's just what something I have a problem with with a lot of different movies, a lot of different franchises. A lot. I mean, Star Wars has this too. Why does no one being is all white or all black, all good or all bad, all whatever? Like, why is it so earth shattering that the Sorcerer Supreme is drawing energy from the the dark side too, for lack of a better phrase? Like, what, I, because, I, why is that bad? Why is it bad that there's some energy that comes from the other side? Because like, it's not evil. Constantly, not constantly. Oh, can I ask? Can I ask a clarifying question? What? So, is your issue with uh, uh, them being all black or all white, or is your issue with them being gray? Because I kind of prefer my gray heroes. I prefer my gray heroes too. But okay, yeah, so, they okay never, so sorry. I, I sorry, just the way you worded it, I could They never I really explained why it's bad to draw energy from the dark dimension. I mean, right. they um, n- they do because they talk about Duma- Dormammu taking over Earth because you draw power from it. Okay. Whatever that maybe that's spell- maybe that's a way to let him in or something like that. I, I don't know. Yes, that's that's what I'm saying. So, I I, I, Pam, I'm not arguing with the you only- uh, or, or or against you. I'm just saying there there is a there is a spot where drawing that power might lead to Dormammu taking Dormammu taking over. God dang it! I keep butchering that. That big that thing is it's the, bad. The only good no, character but that doesn't ever. necessarily mean it's bad. Like, like I agree with you. Like drawing power from where you can draw power to protect the things that are important. Like I get that. Like yeah, I I, I don't necessarily I blame the ancient that. one. Like the I'm not only I'm not good purely good character ever was Optimus Prime. That's it. He's he's the only purely good character. Goku Optimus. for the win. And. uh and, and uh, Megatron, purely evil. There's, Goku for the win, and Vegeta for no the flip side of that. In, there is no, there is no good in Megatron. So we're gonna have uh, to have a, we're gonna have to have an uh, like a uh, Transformers versus Dragon Ball Z fight, and my my characters will kick your characters. But I don't, but. I don't know what Dragon. I don't Dragon, either. I'm too old for Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. But, but I grew, Dragon Ball Z. I, I grew up on Transformers. Um. So anyway, um, Sorcerer Supreme yeah. gets gets stabbed. And now Strange takes her to the hospital again. And, you know, they're like, well, we've got to save you. And she's like, no, nah, I'm dead. I'm dying. I, I know. This. I know this is it. But she goes outside long enough to look at a lightning storm. I mean, lightning storms are cool. <laughs> I mean, not, I'm not arguing. I'm just saying. She's just like, yeah, I'm not going to, like, actually tell you anything that's of significance other than some vague stuff. But I'm going to look at a lightning storm. So. I could tell you your future saying, but instead, like, hey, cool lightning. Yeah. It would be um, nice. It would be nice if like a character that was passing on their mantle would actually give the person they're giving the mantle to some actual like real he, life. Oh, Here's where the weapons him. are. Here's she, what they do. This is how you do this thing. Like she, she that would gave be him, she gave him vital advice. She said, Hey, it's not she about gave him vital you. information for his everyday life. <laughs> she it's not about you um that's all he needed to know yeah and and she also that was a good message and um, honestly that is a message i have to say to my clients more than i'd like to admit so <laughs> <laughs> uh, she also says death is what gives life meaning knowing your days are numbered during your time is short and that's something that that like i guess it's another thing that's special about earth is that we have death in time or something like that like what not everybody else has death in time i, I don't know 
No, I, I just, I just, I, I kind of agree with that is the only, like the only reason to spend any of your time is because you only have limited amounts of it. So. Uh, so um okay so then this is basically the, the final scenes there in H- hong kong is the last uh thank them um, that hasn't thanked them that yeah that hasn't fallen yet and they're too late uh Cassilius has has defeated it but uh, that was a cool scene so yeah so so strange uses the time stone to turn back and as he's turning back everything's going backwards but they're kind of using they're kind of using that to to, well, they're to, not they they're not stopped in time the three of them are not stopped they're moving forward within time but everything else around them is moving backwards so yeah. that's why that's why Mordo gets pissed at the end so yeah so okay so this is where dr strange goes to the the the, the weird place meets dormammu and says dormammu i've come to bargain bargain dormammu kills him and strange shows up again it's like I'm come the bargain. It's like you've come to die. It's gives, gives them again, and it's basically just whack a mole. It's basically just boom. Hey, hey, here I am again. Um, so this is the best definition I've heard of this. Is Doctor Strange is the only one that has ever gotten his villain to rage quit? Yeah, and that's exactly what this is. Is <laughs> Dormammu and, just and, rage? Quitting. And Strange is like, this nope, is, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> this is how things are. You and me trapped in this moment. But you, but you will suffer. Pain is an old friend, is what Strange says. I love love that. So so Dormammu kills him over and over again, and says, "If you go away, I'll I'll break the loop." Um. So, so uh, then, Pam, what did you want to say? No, I was just going to say, isn't this one of the many references in this movie where they talk about? There's only I don't know if this is where it was or if it was earlier. There's only one way to make this work and it's such a reference to later when dr strange is saying he looks ahead oh yeah the one the one the only one way that avengers i don't think he ever does the does the one gesture but you're right i i I, 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 it comes up a few times in this movie and maybe he doesn't actually do the gesture but I know I'm gonna have to go back and watch this movie yeah. again. Yeah, Thank you, you, should. you should. There's yeah. so many things in this movie that tie into other movies. Like, oh yeah, so yeah. many um, things. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's one of them. Yeah, so so Strange so, comes back you know, and Mordo's mad. Well, well, did you know that um, Ben and Cumberbatch was also the voice of Dormammu? Yeah. I read they, that. I they they that. they saved. Yeah, they the good thing they saved money. But yeah, he 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 also did that. Um, so Mordo's mad. Mordo is like, you There's know, too many wizards. Strange is like, hey, I did it. I did it. Yeah, yay me. Woo-hoo. I don't even think he's like, I, like he's yeah. not even that jazz. He's just like, damn, that was hard. I just got killed. <laughs> I just got killed like probably like 18 million times or whatever. But yeah, I was um, going to say, I just got spikes through me for about right. 80 years. How, right. how are you doing? <laughs> and, and Mordo's like, yeah, but you. But you violated natural law. There will be a price to pay. The bill always comes due, which is just another thing that 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 was said many times in the movie. Yes. I will follow this path no longer. So Mordo is not happy. Well, yeah, he's obviously coming back too, right? Like he's got to have. Oh, he's oh, he'll he definitely be. In, he'll yeah. definitely yeah, be he's in the next movie. movie. Yeah, he's got to be. Which yeah. which we didn't see him until now. We, we that was like no, we was saw like ten movies ago. When did when did when when did we also see Mordo? Oh no no no! I'm talking about. I'm ta- sorry. I thought you were talking about the trailer. We saw him in the trailer. Oh, we saw him in the trailer. He's, he's but been like, in the trailer. Basically, he hasn't been in the last you know ten movies. Oh yeah, he's been um, gone. He's been hunting wizards. Or something. We've seen Wong. We <laughs> we've seen Wong. In Wong is my Wong, Wong is my man. Uh, so so now so now we cut to um, the the one the first um, um, after credit scene or the mid credit scene. This is where he's sitting with Thor. And I love this scene. This is this is a great movie. So, so, so Thor says, "So, oh, so Earth has wizards now." <laughs> and and uh, and Doctor Strange says, "Listen, I keep an eye on people." And uh, what are you doing here? And Thor's like, "Listen, I'm just looking for my father." And I'm here to. Like, I, it's like it's like can I offer you some, offer you some tea. He's like, "I don't drink tea." 
And then his just goblet fills up with beer, and he's like, "Ah, oh, okay. works it down." <laughs> and, yeah, and then and then it magically fills up again. It's like, "Ooh, yes. I like this." <laughs> um, so it's yeah. like, "How about I help you find him, and you get the hell out of here?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure. If you help me find him, I'll I'll, I'll leave Earth." It's like, "Okay, I'm gonna help like, you peace. then." Now, Which... why does Doctor Strange not want Thor on Earth? Does I don't think he wants some... any. Su- Go ahead. Yeah, ex- I don't think he's he's like. I, he he says something about that, doesn't like he has a problem with the Avengers until he, he realizes want anything he is an supernatural Avenger. on Earth. Yeah, is what is, is my reading of it. Yeah. Um. So uh, uh quick and and, oh, and then yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Um. And then the the um the 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 second uh, after credit scene. This is where Mordo ap- approaches Cripple Guy. Poor guy's like oh. you stolen power. He fights him and takes away his 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 power and he's legs he's crippled again. Yeah, and that he says, broke my heart. I was he like, says, oh, I terrible see what's, human. I see what's wrong with the world. Too many sorcerers, Ooh. or too many wizards, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. but what yeah. does I know? And I, I watched this and I'm going now that I know he's going to be in this other movie. I'm like. What does that mean? Is Mordo going to be the bad guy? Like, what's I don't. Oh, Mordo's a bad guy, or, or a sure? bad. Guy. Oh, I don't. I see. I don't think Mordo is the bad guy. Okay, Who knows so. what's going on in 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 the the next movie? Who knows? I read it's... comics. Okay, I don't want to know. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> All right. Those no boys. So it's it's um, going to be. But in the comics, Mordo is an, an enemy, right? He, he starts out as an enemy. He was never an ally. He was somebody that stutter, studied oh. at Comertage way before Strange and then became basically what Kaecilius is. And okay. like um, that, that was his track as, yeah. a, as a character, yeah. but they, they kind of altered those. Um, one, one scene that I, that, I, that I didn't mention is um, at one point he's looking at his hands and they're still trembling. He never fixed his hands. The whole reason he did this was to fix his hands to become a great surgeon again. And yeah. now he's okay with that. He's okay with, he's as he pain. says, when he fights Dormammu, it's like, I'm okay with pain. Yeah. So pain is know, an old friend. So pain is an old friend. So basically he's, he learned those lessons um, yeah, from, he, from he the doesn't, ancient one. I, yes, I think that's his acceptance. He it, doesn't ever fix his hands truly. In the MCU, I mean, this is not this is not comic book canon, like by any stretch. Like he's never like been disabled or like had any of this going on. But at least to my knowledge, and he's just he's coming to terms with the fact that I can do the spells, like I can form the symbols and do all that weird handwork and. Da, 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 and cast the spells that I need to, but he's, he's not ready to be an Avenger now, whether he knows it or not. Yeah, I I think well they they have in the one trailer where he talks to Wanda. He's like, I could really use an Avenger. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't feel like he's an Avenger. He doesn't feel like he's a hero. He I so this this leads me to a question that I I've wanted to ask. Do they ever call him the Sorcerer Supreme? He's not. Was, was he ever the Sorcerer Supreme? Long is, right? <laughs> I, he I wasn't. think at one point, I think at one point, I, I'm guessing after um Tilda Swinton died, I guess it, it, it transferred to Strange. But, but why? Then, why did it transfer to him? They never there's never a ceremony. They talk about masters of certain sanctums. So, like, in this movie, there's a master of a certain sanctum. Okay, it happened at some point because in in uh, in Spider-Man No Way Home, um, he says, oh, yeah, it passed on to what? Yeah, I was it, but it passed on to Wong on a no, technicality no, no. or something like that. They So, they don't say pass on. They talk about Wong being the Sorcerer Supreme now, and Doctor Strange glibly comments oh, you got that on a technicality because he thinks he would have gotten it. So maybe long. maybe so, he never got it. So maybe, maybe he never got it. Maybe. I don't. I, so I don't know enough about the comic like Doctor Strange to comment on this. And I've ne- I, like, I just haven't read them. So I I don't know if there's a process to becoming the Sorcerer Supreme or if you're just named it or you become it. Or like, I don't know, like Andrew, I don't know what the problem. Sorcerer Supreme. What? I said, Andrew, you are the Sorcerer Supreme. 
I have a crown now. Doc, okay. Um, I just looked it up. Doctor Strange is a sor- former Sorcerer Supreme in the main in, in the MCU timeline, gaining the royal after the Ancient One's death. Wong but who became- named him that? That's my problem. Like, why do why is he the Sorcerer Supreme? Just because Tilda Swinton died? It was it was um, Randy Jackson, um, Paula Abdul, and uh, Simon Cow. It's after they named the American Idol. I'm pretty sure JFK and Michael Supreme. Jackson were involved in there. So I'm good with that. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, dog. I don't know, dog. You haven't done magic long enough. That's that's a no for me, dog. Uh, anyway, we gotta go. All right. um, I am so excited for the for uh Doctor Strange 2 now. I'm so when are y'all seeing it? You're seeing it Friday, I'm seeing it Thursday. You're seeing I'm it. going to try to see it Thursday or Friday. I'm gonna Hopefully. try try your hardest. No, it's it's whatever whatever she can. In. No. If I can't, then it's gonna have to wait till like Monday of next. We week. have things called lives also that get in the way of of watching. <laughs> My daughter's graduated <laughs> from college. I have a concert coming up. Like, <laughs> oh, I thought you already did the concert. Concert Saturday. All right. Oh. By the way, we. By the way, I am holding you guys. I know you're not as hyped on it as I am. We are doing a Moon Knight review, and you guys no, can tell not. me all the reasons why you don't like no, it. No, we're not. I, that's a, that's the a worst piece of crap I've ever seen. Oh my I god! Can't wait till it's that, over. That show is amazing. No, it's not. Yes, it's it not. Is. I hate it so much. That show is amazing. I hate it so much. <laughs> yeah. That I'm show is amazing, out. and I will oh. fight you both on it. And oh. you will come and fight me on it. Fight me here in front of everybody. <laughs> I wish I had that ring right now. I'd, 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 podcast. I'd come to Philadelphia. We can fight. <laughs> All right, I will guys. come out to Pittsburgh because honestly, by the way, and this this doesn't have to be part of the show. Uh, I do fully plan on coming to a Steelers game. 